Hi, this is John Sowash, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can hand grade student work using Google Classroom. Now, I love digital technologies. I love my Chromebook and uh, using Google Classroom, but there are some situations where a pencil and a sheet of paper just make things easier. Grading by hand, that is annotating, drawing on top of, circling uh, student assignments, is sometimes the best approach for providing them with feedback. It's not the only approach, and I've talked about the other ways to grade assignments digitally in the past, uh, but sometimes paper and pencil, a red pen, is just a simpler way to grade and annotate. And you can digitally grade student work with a pen through Google Classroom. And this video is gonna show you exactly how to do it. Now, before we get into the details, I wanna talk with you about some tools that you're gonna need in order to do this successfully. The first thing you're gonna need is a touch screen device. Now, that could be a mobile phone, but that's gonna be tricky. It's gonna be a hard uh, task to grade student work on a small screen. So I don't recommend it, although it could technically work. Um, you could have an iPad or another tablet. That will work quite well. Again, a full-size iPad, not this uh, mini version, would be optimal uh, to make that happen. The third option could be a touchscreen laptop. And I love this idea. Now, I'm the Chromebook guy. I love Chromebooks. I wrote the book on Chromebooks. So I love my touchscreen Chromebook. This is the Pixelbook. Um, and this would work quite well for grading and annotating student work. Um, this device happens to also uh, fold up into a tablet, and so I can very easily grab this and draw right on top of the screen. Whatever you've got, you're just going to need a, mo a device with a touch screen. Okay, so that's step one, Chromebook, tablet, phone, uh, whatever you've got available. Next, you are going to want a digital stylus. Okay, you can do this with your finger, but it's not ideal. Uh, you really are going to have a much better experience. You have some kind of digital writing instrument. Now, this stylus here is just a cheap, generic one I got from Amazon. I think it's like 20 bucks. Um, I'll leave the link to this particular pen in the description. This isn't awesome by any means, but it gets the job done. It's certainly better than just using your finger. Not, this stylus won't be compatible with every device, so you're going to need to you know, look at what you have and then the details for this pen, find one that will work for your device. This again, 20 bucks or so. Some touchscreen Chromebooks come with their own pen. So if you have like the, uh, the Samsung uh, Chromebook uh, Plus or Pro, uh, the brand new Samsung Galaxy Chromebook has one. There's several that come with pens, and if you have that, that'll work uh, great as well. Now, I do have uh, this device. This is the Pixelbook pen. This is a very expensive stylus. I think this one was like $100. Um, this will only work with the Pixelbook Chromebook. Um, this is comparable to the Apple Pencil. Uh, if you have an Apple Pencil and an iPad, what I'm about to show you will work marvelously. You're going to get a really nice, crisp um, line with this device uh, and be able to do basically anything you would with a pencil or a pen. So those are the first two things you're going to need, a touchscreen device, some kind of a writing uh, instrument, digital uh, stylus. The third thing you're going to need, and this is the secret ingredient, is you will need the Google Classroom app for a mobile device. So you need the Google Classroom app for either iOS from the, Google, from the uh, Apple App Store or the Google Classroom app from Google Play. So if you've got an iPhone, and, uh, an iPad, grab it from Apple. If you have a Chromebook, this will work because Chromebooks have the capacity to run Android apps, and that's what I'm going to demo for you here in just a bit. Now, if you are in a school setting, which I assume, since you're watching this video, you need to know a couple of things. First off, you need a, a Android-compatible Chromebook. Now, that shouldn't be a big deal because most Chromebooks uh, will run Android apps at this time. If you've got some kind of super old Chromebook, then maybe not, but if it's you know three years uh, old or newer, you should be good. The second thing, and this may be the bigger issue, your school IT department must enable your ability to access the Google Play Store and run Android apps. It is not on by default. 
So if you cannot follow my steps because you don't see the Google Play Store, you're gonna to need to reach out to your admin, your IT admin, and ask them to enable this feature. And they can just enable it for you or just for teachers. They don't have to turn it on uh, for students. Let's take a look at my Chromebook and I'll show you how to get started. Now, if you are on a Mac or uh, an iPhone, iPad, you just head over to the App Store to grab the app. But here on my Chromebook, I have access to Google Play. And I just want to make sure that I'm using the Google Classroom Android app to open up my student assignments. So if you're accustomed to using Google Classroom on the web, that is, you know, just classroom.google.com, that's totally fine. But you're going to need this app to grade student work uh, with your digital pencil. So here's the app. I'm going to go into my uh, demo class that I set up to show you. And uh, we're going to look at some student submissions. Now, you don't have to set up your assignment through the app. You can set your assignments up the normal way you have. If you already have assignments, this will work just fine. There's nothing special about creating the assignment. Now, I have um, a student assignment here with four submissions. Uh, Edmund submitted an image file to me. Lucy submitted a Google document. Peter submitted a Google spreadsheet. And Susan submitted a... Uh, Google slide presentation. So I have a variety of assignment files so I can demo how you can do this in a variety of ways. Let's go ahead and start with Edmund. Um, he uh, submitted his math homework as an image. He took a picture of his math homework. So I'm going to click to open his assignment and we'll see the image. Just he took it with a cell phone and uh, submitted that to me. Now I'm not going to do a detailed grade here, but I'm just going to kind of spot check. And here's the, the thing that happens when you open the assignment with the Google Classroom app. In the top right corner, right up here, you're going to see this little pencil. And by clicking there, it opens a variety of annotation tools. You've got different pens, different colors, line thickness, highlighters. Um, you can even type right on the screen. Now, I'm just going to use the digital pen. I'm just going to take a quick look. Uh, that one looks good. So I'm going to turn on my stylus here. That one's good. Check. Uh, that one looks good. And maybe down here, I just want to say show work. All right. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to click the save button. And what it's going to do is it's going to save a copy of the assignment with my annotations and attach it to the student's assignment. So the original submissions will still be there with no annotations. And then my version with the markups will appear underneath it. This works really, really well when we get into Google Drive files. So let's go ahead and look at uh, Lucy. Okay, so Lucy submitted a Google document. Now, typically when you open the doc, it would open into Google Docs and you could add your comments and uh, revisions there. This is going to open essentially a PDF view of the document. So it's just kind of an image and I can scan through here to look for any errors. So I've already kind of uh, looked through this a uh, little bit. So like, first of all, I can see uh, she just said many ways, but she didn't actually explain what those are. So I'm going to add a little note here that says, uh, please explain. All right. And then um, we're going to go down here and I can see this should be italicized. So I'll write italic here. Um, you know, maybe there's this needs to be spacing uh, right there. So I can mark that up. I can even highlight. So there's a highlighter tool. And if I want to you know, highlight a line there and then make a note of that, uh, I can do that as well. Again, once I click the Save button, I'm not editing the student's original file. It's going to make a copy and attach those notes for them to review. So the next step would be for the student to look at my um, notice, uh, my annotations. They would open that PDF, open up their original essay, and then make those changes in their uh, file and resubmit to me. Let's go ahead and take a look at Susan. She submitted her journal. So again, I'm going to click the little pencil, go in here to edit. Um, this is a very informal assignment, so maybe I'm just going to say, great, great job. It's just a fun way, a little more personal, because I can see your handwriting, um, than just a typed comment. 
And again, don't forget to click that save button and then uh, Susan will be able to see her assignment. So this is a strategy for hand grading student work and providing that feedback in a little more comfortable, familiar, free form way. It's not the only option and there are some benefits to grading using the comment feature of uh, Google Classroom and Google Docs, uh, but this is an alternative uh, strategy you can look at uh, for giving your students feedback. Thanks for watching, see you next time.